the Type 7 U-boat could theoretically dive to 750 feet according to design specifications. It measured 220 feet long, displaced 769 tons surfaced, and carried 14 torpedoes plus 44 crew members. Germany built 709 Type 7 submarines between 1936 and 1945, spending 850 million Reichsmarks, equivalent to $600 million in modern currency. And across six years of desperate Atlantic warfare, operational depth limits kept 90% of U-boats above 300 feet because diving deeper meant certain death from hull collapse. Let me show you how Germany's most produced weapon became a fleet of expensive surface vessels pretending to be submarines. Here's the brutal mathematics. Each Type 7 cost one. Two million Reichsmarks when a Panzer IV tank cost 103,000 Reichsmarks. Germany could have built 12 tanks for every U-boat. The Kriegsmarine ordered 709 Type 7s, consuming 23% of total submarine construction budget. For that investment, they received submarines with a fatal design flaw. The pressure hull could theoretically withstand 750 feet, but welds, hatches, and torpedo tube seals regularly failed below 300 feet. Testing depth was officially 330 feet. Combat doctrine specified 260 feet maximum for safety. The mathematics of metallurgy had created submarines that couldn't hide in the ocean they were designed to control. But here's what nobody talks about. U-boats were self-defeating from deployment. Maximum submerged speed was 7, 6 knots using electric motors. Surface speed was 17, 7 knots using diesels. Allied convoy escorts traveled at 20 knots. The only advantage submarines possessed was invisibility through depth. But staying below 300 feet meant operating in water that Atlantic convoys crossed in the top 200 feet. U-boats had to surface every 48 hours to recharge batteries taking 8 to 10 hours running diesels. During those hours, they were slower than the merchant ships they hunted. Submerged endurance was 80 miles at 4 knots before batteries died. The physics of 1930s technology had created submarines that spent 60% of patrol time on the surface, where they were vulnerable. Now, let's talk about actual combat. In 1940, U-boats achieved three five ships sunk per submarine lost. By 1943, that ratio reversed to zero. 25 ships sunk per U-boat lost. What changed? Allied sonar, radar, and depth charges evolved faster than U-boat diving capability. Sonar could track submarines to 450 feet. U-boats limited to 300 feet had nowhere to hide. When depth charges exploded at 350 feet, Pressure waves crushed hulls from below. British commanders noted U-boats consistently surfaced after shallow depth charge patterns because crews knew staying deep meant drowning when welds split. German after-action reports documented 127 submarines lost to pressure hull failure at depths below 280 feet. The submarines couldn't use their only defensive advantage without killing themselves. The human cost tells the darker story. 40,900 Kriegsmarine submariners served in U-boats during the war. 28,000 died, a 68, 5% fatality rate, the highest of any military branch in any nation during World War II. Average patrol length was 45 days. Average crew survival for new U-boats commissioned after 1942 was four. Seven patrols. Life expectancy. Seven months from commissioning to sinking. Survivors described the mathematics of depth. Below 250 feet, we heard creaking. Below 280 feet, rivets popped. Below 300 feet, we prayed. One commander wrote, We are surface raiders forced underwater briefly. Every dive is calculated suicide. Crews knew the Type 7's crush depth was theoretical. Real crush depth was whatever depth the weakest weld failed. Let's compare effectiveness. 
Allied destroyer escorts cost $6 million each, half the price of a U-boat. From 1943 to 1945, destroyer escorts sank 175 U-boats while losing 34 ships. Exchange ratio, 5, 1 to 1 in favor of surface vessels. American submarines operating in the Pacific with 400-foot operational depth sank 1 the 178 Japanese merchant ships. German U-boats sank 2,079 Allied merchant ships total, but required 709 submarines and 28,000 dead submariners to achieve it. American subs achieved 40 times San C9 22% of German total tonnage using 288 submarines with 16% casualty rate. The Pacific submarines could dive deep enough to escape. Atlantic U-boats couldn't. The final, darkest truth of 709 Type 7. U-boats built, 6163 were lost or scuttled. Only 46 survived the war, a 93, 5% loss rate. In May 1945, Germany ordered all remaining U-boats to surface and surrender. Operation Regenbogen saw 221 U-boats scuttled by their own crews rather than surrendered. Survivors reported, We knew it was over when Donitz ordered us to surface. Real submarines don't fear diving. We feared it every patrol. The mathematics of survival were undeniable. Staying surfaced meant capture. Diving deep meant drowning. Germany had built 709 submarines that couldn't actually submarine. The math is undeniable. 850 million Reichsmarks. 709 submarines built. 44 crew each equals 31,196 crew positions. 28,000 dead. 93. 5% loss rate. Maximum safe depth 300 feet in an ocean averaging 12,000 feet deep. The final irony? Type 7 U-boats were sunk by depth charges set to explode at 350 feet, just 50 feet below their maximum survivable depth. Germany spent $600 million building submarines that could only hide in the shallowest layer of the Atlantic while Allied weapons struck from below. The Type 7 proved that even 709 submarines can't win a war when they're afraid to dive.